Sometimes all that glitters is not gold after all. The very thing you fell in love with becomes the bane of your existence. After all, even the best love stories end in disaster. But wait, we are talking about toys, right? Hello everyone and welcome back. If this is your first time here, or maybe you're just a long time lurker, go ahead, join the fun, and hit that subscribe button right now. Well yes, the honeymoon is the vacation that most couples take after getting married. The concept of the honeymoon phase in general is commonly associated with romantic relationships, referring to the initial period of excitement, passion, and discovery, most often in a tropical place secluded from the rest of the world. However, this phenomenon is not limited to personal connections alone. It can also be applied to collectors and the collecting world, where enthusiasts or collectors embark on a thrilling journey filled with anticipation, but eventually come face to face with the reality of their pursuit. So what happens when that reality kicks in? For some, and maybe even you listening or watching right now, you can take a step back, look around and wonder how you got yourself into this mess. Why are you in debt? Why don't you enjoy collecting anymore? And why does this hobby not excite you? Well, let's take a look how we got here and how to avoid that. And let's start from the beginning. And let's be honest about this. Let's state the obvious. There is excitement in the new. In the early stages of collecting, enthusiasts are filled with enthusiasm and eagerness. The collecting world is literally a treasure trove waiting to be explored and every acquisition brings a sense of joy and accomplishment. The thrill of discovering new items, whether it's a new product reveal, Researching the history of some grails or chase pieces, and ultimately adding these pieces to one's collection, is akin to falling in love. It's the passion that is fueled by the initial surge of novelty and the quest for knowledge. But like everything, unfortunately, reality eventually strikes. And as time goes by, collectors gradually move past the honeymoon phase and begin to experience a shift in their emotions. The initial excitement starts to wane and is replaced by a deeper understanding of that the challenges and complexities associated with collecting are right around the corner. You may be asking some of these questions, such as, how am I going to pay off all these pre-orders? And where am I going to put this? And why do these investments keep tanking on the secondary market? And so on and so forth. The once thrilling hunt for new pieces may become harder and less rewarding. There may be a realization that the certain items that are rare or expensive can end up dampening a collector's spirit, or the fact there just may be too many options in general that are out there and that spark just isn't there anymore. Frustrations may then arise, especially when facing the limitations of budget, availability, or exclusivity. As they say, what goes up must come down. After all, Isaac Newton was ahead of his time. But collecting can be an emotional roller coaster. As the honeymoon phase ends, collectors often find themselves going up and down, back and forth, questioning and reasoning on why they were in this hobby in the first place. Disappointment may arise, when a highly sought-after item proves elusive or unobtainable. Or maybe it's the constant stress of keeping up with other collectors for fake social media points, and it's finally worn you down. The joy of acquiring new pieces and seeing new reveals may give way to a sense of emptiness or dissatisfaction, or in some cases, flat-out resentment toward the product, or worse, your actual collection. Doubts and questions about the purpose and value of collecting may start to surface and in this current economic climate, I honestly don't blame you. And at times, the passion that once burned brightly may dim, requiring effort to reignite. Now the question, what is going to light that spark, if anything? Perhaps the simplest ember to ignite you once again is found in evolution, evolving from quantity to quality. With the end of the honeymoon phase of your collecting comes an opportunity for growth and maturity. Collectors can begin to shift their focus from accumulating items to cultivating a more meaningful and refined collection. The journey becomes less about quantity and more about quality. Collectors delve deeper into their chosen IP, their favorite characters, and begin seeking rare and unique pieces that hold personal significance or contribute to the overall feel and story of your collection. The focus can shift from the thrill of acquisition to the appreciation of craftsmanship, historical value, or sentimental attachment. Remember, at the end of the day, this is about you. So naturally, your collection should reflect you. And as I said before, once a collector, 
always a collector. So you just need to find new avenues to your fulfillment. Though the honeymoon phase may be over, it does not signify the end of the collecting journey. Instead, it presents an opportunity for collectors to explore new avenues of fulfillment. Engage with newer collectors, participate in live streams, start toy photography, and so much more. That's one of the reasons I actually started this channel because sharing knowledge can invigorate the passion and reignite a collector's spark. The total goal of collecting should be embracing the journey as a lifelong pursuit rather than a fleeting infatuation. If you're not anchored into something you are truly passionate about, you will be pulled over and over again through this vicious cycle. In the end, the honeymoon phase in collecting is a natural and inevitable progression. As Thanos would say, it is inevitable. However, it is ultimately characterized by a shift in emotions and priorities, but this is normal. Collectors must navigate the challenges and frustrations that come with a more seasoned perspective and find new ways to reignite their passion and maintain fulfillment. If you're a young collector and you're just starting out, do not look at someone who's been collecting for 30 years and wonder why your collection doesn't look like theirs. But if you are truly over this and looking for a collecting divorce, I challenge you to embrace this transition as an opportunity for growth. Instead, refine your collections deepen your understanding of the why you actually collect and remember what first caught your eye and made you do a double take. Engage with the collecting community and I promise you'll be better off for it. Ultimately in the end of the honeymoon phase is not the end of your journey, but rather a new chapter in the ever-evolving story of a collector's passion. Well now it's time for you to respond. Let me know down below in the comments one of two things. What was the first figure you ever got that made you fall in love? Or, how old were you when you first started collecting? And as I've said before, if you haven't subscribed, there is no better time like the present. If you like this type of content, let me know that as well down below. But until then, remember your first love, and I'll be seeing you in our next video.